Hey everyone, this is your broker, Zach. Today we are going over a new format. We're going to start doing a podcast. So I brought in our coach, mentor, one of our affiliate brokers, Cameron Corlew today. He brought up a really good topic that I think would help a lot of our agents, especially newer agents, but even just all of us in general, because we are in the sales industry and that's how to overcome the fear of rejection. Welcome, Cameron. Hey, glad to be on, Zach. Appreciate you having me. Uh, you know, one thing that we, Zach and I have talked about, especially over the past few weeks, is uh, facing rejection, especially when you're building a business. Uh, every day is a challenge. We certainly know that. Uh, you're going to run into obstacles, adversity, all different sorts of things that are going to cause you to have fear, uncertainty, things that are going to cause you to not want to keep pressing forward. So I wanted to start off with the definition of fear. I've got it pulled up here. Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. So basic psychology teaches us that we actually treat rejection as a physical pain, right? Yep. When we get rejected, our bodies, our minds, everything about us begins to shut down. Why do we do that? Well, our brain releases this chemical that I can't remember the word to off the top of my head to something that causes us to shut down. So our bodies naturally fear being rejected, right? This goes back to thousands of years ago when cavemen would try to go venture out into the world. They had to be scared. They needed fear. If they didn't have fear, they try to go be friends with bears, right? So this starts thousands of years ago with humans as to why we don't like rejection is because it's a protection mechanism to our brain. So it kind of goes into how do we overcome that? There's a few different ways. Uh, what, we're, what we'll end up talking about today will be several different things that will help you overcome uh, the fear of rejection. One thing that you're going to need, and Zach's going to talk about this, is your why. Yeah, I think with the fear of rejection, I think what happens, especially talking to newer agents, is there's this perception outside of the business. And once you get in it, uh, it's kind of night and day as you kind of see the HGTV, uh, you think like the house hunters and people calling you. But what you don't realize is like we are in sales and uh, we have to make the like make that ask for the sale. And mm -hmm. so people get scared of that because they have one perception of the industry coming in. It's totally different. And I think, too, we, we get fearful because we're worried of what people are going to think of us. Mm -hmm. And and we take it we take it personally, too. Like when somebody says no or what if they say no, it's like it's not you personally. Like it's not because of you. It's just your service or what you're offering. Either they're not ready or. Uh, something like that, where the first thing that I think everybody should do to help overcome, like, I'm, I'm scared to make that first door knock or that first call, or the first thing you should do, and Cameron said it, is determining our why. And I know we've fundamentally, like, we've talked about this a little bit. We've, we've written training courses over this. It's just so important because the why will overcome any fear you have if you're motivated enough, if your why is driving you enough. Uh, what what kind of got you up and running, Cameron? Because I know you've had a lot of success so far. Yeah, so definitely the why. The why is going to be the biggest thing. But what got me to my why was actually uh, doing affirmations. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of positive affirmations. Most people watching this have heard people talking about positive affirmations. And you have to rewrite your subconscious because subconsciously we're going to tell ourselves we can't do something that. I mean, other people have done. So if other people have done it, how do we do it, right? So we have to rewrite our subconscious because we get out in the world of sales and we get our first no or our second no and we're done, right? Our minds hurt, our brains hurt, we feel drained, we feel mentally exhausted. And you may have only made 15, 20, 25 sales calls, right? And we know to get to where we want, we got to make 100 or 200, whatever that number may be. And you can't stop if you haven't hit what you need to hit, right? You have to keep going. So that why is that big factor into why we keep going. But how do we get that why? We need positive affirmations. We have to affirm, affirm ourselves every single day. I can do this. Yep. Whether that's standing in front of the mirror, screaming at yourself, saying, I'm successful. I'm going to do this. And it's not saying I will. It's already You're claiming that you already are. Um, it, it's rewriting how you think. And if you rewrite how you think, you rewrite how you act. 
And when you rewrite how you act, you rewrite your results. You rewrite your destiny. You rewrite everything that you could ever do because of just affirming that you can do it because you really can. The mind's a very powerful thing. Um, I, I'm sure you've heard of him, David Goggins, uh, ex-military mm-hmm. expert. Yeah, big on big on affirming yourself, big on saying, I, I'm just going to do it. And yep. I, I think the way what was, what was your why? What was your why when you got started? Uh, my, my why was actually just helping people. And it's still and that's still my why. Uh, my why actually it's here on my phone is my background. My very first thing, why people simple, help people client first, right? How do we help people? That's what, that's what drives me. It's how can we make a difference in something that's not just, you know, beneficial for one sector, it's beneficial for all. Right. And and that's what drives me. If I didn't have that in front of me every single day, look like I work. Um, I'd probably, you know, you'd work your nine to five or whatever you feel like you need to do. And then you'd go home, kick your feet up, watch some TV, eat some dinner, go to bed. I can't do that. Neither can you. I, I'm sure your why is probably very similar to, to mine. We're very yeah, people oriented people. Yeah. I, in the beginning, I had to make a discovery and a change in mindset. And my discovery was my why, which you're, what you're talking about and the mm-hmm. affirmation and my why, when I got started is, I moved from Tennessee to Florida. Uh, the wife and I just wanted to live by the beach. I had no job. I was just going to be a real estate agent. And I did not want to fail. If, yeah. I, if I failed going to a new city, a new market, starting a new career, if I failed, that meant I had to go back home. And I, I failed myself. I failed mm-hmm. my wife. I failed my family. And so that was my why. I was like, every single day I'm getting up. I'm going out there. I'm door knocking because I can't fail. Like, yeah. And that was, that was more powerful. I was more fearful of failing myself, my family, my wife versus fearing this person telling me, no, they don't want to buy or sell from me. And the change in my mindset too. So that was my discovery was my why. And then the change in my mindset was every no gets me closer to the yes. Mm -hmm. And so I I actually became excited when somebody told me no. I was like, yes, that's one more person that I'm closer to finding that yes. And uh, have you read the book Go for No? Yes. Yep. (laughs) It's a very good book. It'll change your whole mindset. I actually read that when I was selling insurance. So that's that's kind of where I was. That's (laughs) very, yeah. That helped me because every single day, like when I got started, uh, I, I went into my office when I was brand new. I asked every experienced agent, what are you guys doing for lead gen? Because I knew I need more leads to sell. I was, I was full time. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a secondary job. And it was for sale by owners, expired. And then everybody said, well, I'm not going to door knock. It's just too hot. It's Florida, 100 degrees outside. I was like, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, because again, I can't fail. I can't go back home. And so every single day I would hit 100 homes, no matter what. And I didn't have any skills, like even my fear of rejection. I didn't have any sk- skills. My first couple doors was just, do you want to sell your house? No? Cool. I'll go to the next <laughs> one. <laughs> so you actually used fear to drive your purpose of overcoming fear. Yes. Yep. You actually use being scared of <laughs> failing, which the fun fact when you get into sales, the business world and everything like failing is part of it. You're going to fail every single day. If you're really good, you fail every single hour. You want to fail your way to the top. So using the fear of like just being a failure because failing, failing and failure is totally different. So you use the the fear of fail or being a failure to drive the fear of rejection, which I think like subconsciously we all do that. And um, I think that's big, especially when you're, you're out there and you're, you're going after something that a lot of people tell you you can't achieve on a daily Mm -hmm. basis. And um yeah, overcoming that, you know, there's a few more points we got to talk about, but using fear as fuel to overcome fear is massive, especially when it comes to taking action and actually doing something, not just for yourself, but for your family too. Well, it was even one of my very first sessions of door knocking and it was very, very low level of skill, just saying, Hey, do you want to buy or sell a house with Mm me? Um, And I would go through one of my first neighborhoods. I remember it distinctly. And I'm going through, everybody's saying no. I hit, I think I got to like 90 homes and I got like one email address and one phone number. Everybody was just telling me, get lost, uh, get out of here. 
And I remember distinctly, I had three homes left before my car was parked on the other street. And the whole day, everybody was telling me no. And I was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to walk to my car. Like, I'm tired of being told no. Uh, I don't want to, like, I, I don't want to do it for the rest of the day. And then it just clicked again. Like, no, I, I appreciate the no's. And I was like, I got to finish out. I got to do these last three. And the very next home I hit literally was an older lady. She was like, I've been praying about this. I've needed somebody to sell my house. I just didn't know who to call. And now you're here. Like, help me sell. And we listed her house the next week just because yeah. I was like, my, my one fear of failing is bigger than the fear of rejection. Yeah. And, and that goes into, so your, your method of door knocking was very similar to mine when I started selling insurance. Uh, when my first, I remember my very first day prospecting selling insurance. I, uh, I was actually spending the weekend at my dad. So I just naturally, I went up to Gallatin to uh, cold call. And I remember the very first business I, or the very first decision maker, sorry, that I got in front of, not the first business I walked into, but the very first decision maker I finally got in front of, I froze for a second. I looked at him and I stuck my hand out and I said, hi, my name's Cameron. I sell Aflac. Would y'all like to buy any? And which obviously the answer was no. Uh, <laughs> the answer was a few choice words and then no. But it, it was just, you know, I knew in that moment, the only thing I could do was at least ask, right? Yep. Uh, because the, the one thing, if I didn't ask, one, I'm just going to look like an idiot and I'm going to have to leave and get in my car. And two, you don't know what they're going to say. Right. You really don't. 99% of the time, they're going to tell you no. Understand that going into it. 99% of the time, you're not going to get what you want. That's fine. It's the only business where 1%, that's all you need to be successful in, in the sales world is 1%. Yep. You preach, get 1% better every single day. It compounds. It's like a snowball effect. So also- Well, I think that's, that's another way too is overcoming the fear of objection. Like we've said- Determining your why, increasing mm -hmm. um, like your skill set. And yeah. then also, too, I think another way to overcome this fear is if we create certainty, yeah. certainty in ourselves, determining our why, like we're certain in what is our purpose? Why are we doing this? And, and more than just if our purpose is, well, we just want to make money, like you're just going to yeah. get burnt out. It's more about what that can do. And it's more family time, more vacation, more whatever it is. So we have to create certainty and we, ha we have to increase our conviction and yep. we do that through our why. And then lastly, like you said, increase our skill. So yep. the 1% better every single day, how can I make tiny changes that compound? And by increasing our certainty, skills and conviction, uh, the fear will become more and more minimal as we go. Yep. And also determining too, when you're increasing your skill set, you'll also start to learn that when somebody tells you no, that no may not actually be a no, right? It could be a timing issue, right? Yep. It could be they don't trust you or they don't know enough, right? You've got a few different no's that you can run with, or it could just be, no, they're never going to do business with you. You could be Jesus Christ of Nazareth handing out gold for free, and they're still going to tell you no. <laughs> people dealing with people, it's so cool because you just never know what's going on in that person's life. You don't know if mom just passed away, if the spouse just passed away, if something just happened with a kid in school, you never know the other person's situation unless they come out and tell you. So it, it's all on raising that skill level, increasing your conviction, your, your, you know, increasing your actions, increasing your skill set, and, and just, being consistent, being persistent with your actions too. You know, there's so much that, I mean, we could talk about this for two hours about yeah. how do you overcome it, right? Simplest way, define your why, affirm yourself, increase your skill set, increase your conviction and go for it. Don't stop. People yep. are going to tell you you can't do it all day long. It's cool. Well, it's and, and I see the trap with a brand, brand new agents is they want to know everything before they get started. And, yeah. and we, know, we know the common saying, practice makes perfect. But there is no perfect. Uh, nope. Even Michael Jordan missed shots. Like, he's never perfect. Nope. So it's practice makes improvement. And I, I think that was uh, mm -hmm. said by Les Brown. But it's yeah. more just, it's taking that action. Like, we all get nervous. The first oh, yeah. call we're going to make, the first door knock, like, even still, it's like, I got to, like affirmations get ready and then i just gotta do it and and as yeah. you're doing it 
that fear just subsides because you're like, all right, I made my third call, my fifth call. So that, and that if helped. you if you were to wait to know everything about this business before you started, you'd never start. You'd spend your whole life learning about real estate because it's fundamentally impossible to learn everything with something that's constantly changing. Um, you know, I am a coach for real estate agents, but also coach other business owners as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Small business owner that I help coach is my little sister and her husband. Um, I remember when they first got started back in 2000 and into 2018 is when their business actually uh, opened. And it was probably two weeks before they opened it. Uh, I was talking to my little sister uh, at my parents' house. We were visiting and I was just asking how things were going, you know, when they thought that they were going to open for business. And I remember my little sister telling me, Cameron, he, we want to know everything about this business before we start it. And I sat back for a second. It made me really think you're never going to know everything about not, not just your business, but any business at all. You will never know everything, even when you get in and start doing it every day. You're never going to learn anything. So if you're waiting for the moment of like having enough knowledge to go do something, you're never going to do it. Don't yep. wait to have the knowledge. Just do it and you'll learn as you go. Uh, your biggest teacher is going to be the mistakes that you make. Give yourself some grace when you make a mistake because that's also going to lead into creating more fear to rejections when you make a mistake. You're human. You're allowed to make mistakes. It is okay. What can you do to learn from it and grow from it and not make that mistake again? And that's going to add more support to your affirmations and getting better. Yep. I think it, I think it just starts small, write out your affirmations, create your why, and just the simple action of let's take the first step. Let's, yeah. let's make the first call. Let's make the first door knock, whatever it is. And that will help you overcome the fear of rejection. That and keeping it in front of your face constantly. I don't know if you can see my eye now. The background's going to mess it up. But I have my goals for each quarter. I have my why in front of me. I have yep. my affirmation. It's, it's, when I look at my phone, I see it. You have to see it. And, and, and it sounds so corny and so cliche because it's like, oh, that's what, but, but genuinely though, you want to be successful. You want to be like successful people are, you got to do what successful people do, yep. right? What do successful people do? They write their goals down. They keep their goals in front of their face. They write their why they, they write, they read their discipline. They do all of these little small nuanced things that take a lot of time to learn a lot of, there, there's just a lot that goes in with it, but it's the, the downright thing of like, just know how to overcome the fear of rejection is going to be why, right? And then affirming yourself as to why you're doing what you're doing and saying, you know, I can do it. Yep. So. And, and I think if that, if that reason is big enough, you will overcome anything, whether it's, mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. I don't know this. It's like, if your why is big enough and, and it can't be something simple, like, well, I, I'm only doing this because my family thought I'd be good at it or like whatever else it's got to be intentional. Like mine was like, yeah. I cannot fail myself, my family. I cannot go back. And that, that was my approach. And, and so I think you need that big enough why, and you'll overcome mm -hmm. anything that stands in your way. Yeah. And I think that's why I think me and you are so big at, at what we're doing as to why we're really trying to change it is because our whys aren't even about us anymore. It's about other people. Yep. It's not about how much money can we go make. It's not about all the cool, expensive stuff. It, it, it's genuinely, you look at my why, it says people. Literally the first word is mm -hmm. people, humans. Humans are the, the fundamental basis to everything. This is my thing. Like what, what I was really learning when I was like learning how to overcome, like, oh man, they're going to tell me to go F myself or whatever it may be that I'm about to face that's scary. It's like that person's a human just like I am. They yep. experience the same emotions that I experience. They experience the same type of, not exactly the same life, but they experience a lot of the same things that we all experience. Yep. That right there eliminated any fear that I ever had anymore with selling. I don't, I don't fear rejection. I embrace it. I, I welcome rejection. Go ahead and tell me no. Because you know what's going to happen after you tell me no? Well, what's the, what's the reason? Tell me. Let's talk more. Let's find out more. I get excited when people tell me no now. You reject me, I get excited because now I get to find out why. Are yeah. you rejecting me or are you just rejecting this moment? You yeah. know? Because there's there's a lot of different types, man. So, you know, cool. it's important for us as uh, real estate agents to know there's going to be a lot of rejection with this business. 
Don't let it stop you. Don't let it intimidate you. Don't let it change you from who you are. Keep pushing. Guys, if you need help with anything, reach out to me anytime. Reach out to Zach. We're always here to help any way we can with your business. Yep. And if you guys like this video, we're going to be making more every single week. So comment below any, any sort of subject you want us to cover. Uh, we have a list of things coming up. And hopefully this guy's helps you out in your business and have a successful week. Thanks, guys.